it's Prospect Games.com here and today we are at the Comic Bug which is the local comic book store and we're picking up our pools which means we have the newest Hi-Fi Fight Club which we haven't actually gotten yet, it's a couple weeks old but still I'm super excited to read it as well as the new Lumberjanes and Miss Marvel which I'm super excited to take a look at and we might grab some other, other stuff that wasn't in our pool list but yeah, we um, are here at the comic book store, it feels nice to have a new local comic book store since we moved and I'm really excited to take a look and see what we can get. So uh, something I totally didn't expect to happen, we found the Red Rising Sons of Aries comic book series which like I was vaguely aware of its existence but I didn't think it was out yet and it's a thing and it's out and I we have it now and that is really cool and I'm really excited because one of my current obsessions is Red Rising and I'm very excited. I don't know if I'm ready to read it yet because that means that people have canon appearances, like I get to know what they look like, and that's scary. I'm so excited. Okay, so uh, we are setting up in uh, our normal like location, but we're doing a podcast today. Woo! Right? Yeah. So we're going to do uh, the first episode of Validate Me, which is a podcast we've been talking about. I think we talked about it while we were at uh, Comic-Con. Mm -hmm. um, and so Presley and I are just going to take the alternate weeks recommending stuff that the other person should watch and then just have a talk uh, about what, what we thought about each other's content. Right? Yeah. And Domino's going to scratch. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully uh, he's not going to do that during the podcast. Domino, <laughs> hey. Oops. Domino, hey. All right. <laughs> Take a break. Good kitty. Yeah. So we're going uh, to talk about Highlander tonight, and we're going to talk about what? Galaga. Galaga. We're going to talk about Galaga tonight. So um, this will be uh, probably next Friday, is, is I think what we're targeting these posting on Fridays. And maybe the podcast and the video will be up. I don't really know. Yes. But yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna launch in. We're gonna do our first podcast episode, which is probably not gonna be very good. It's fine. Because um, the first it's time, fine. first time's never. Yeah, maybe that's that's the problem with feels like the first time because <laughs> the first time's always really horrible. But the it feels like the first time isn't horrible. But it feels like the first time. Yeah, I guess the the podcast feels like the first time, which you should totally go watch, listen to. By the way, watch watch Lost and listen to the feels like the first time podcast. But it feels like the first time you saw someone do something cool, not it feels like the first time you did something really poorly. <laughs> right? Yeah. I assume is what they're after. So we're gonna we're gonna shoot a podcast here. We'll put a little clip in here of, of us shooting, and so you can see what that looks like. And then next Friday, you can check it out and let us know what cool. you think. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Presley's been discovering a lot more content on her own, and she's been introducing it to me, right? Yeah. And so, the Adventure Zone, the Hamilton even came from her. Heather's. Uh, Heather, well, I don't know, Heather's is kind of a win-win. I made him listen yeah. to it once. So, I introduced her to Heather's the movie, she introduced me to Heather's the, the musical. musical. Right, so, yeah, there was all like some good back and forth that was going on there. Um, and so, the way that we really started off was, uh, we're getting ready to watch Ready Player One. Yeah. So I love the book, Ready Player One, and uh, so I knew the movie was coming, and so I was talking to Presley, and I decided that in order for her to really get Ready Player One, she needed to experience some of the media that was referenced in Ready Player One. Yeah. And so uh, I started her watching, I made a list of things I needed, movies I wanted her to watch, or games I wanted her to play or something, and we were kind of plowing through those, and then uh, we started listening to the audiobook in the car together. And so as we were going through that, well, I was making another list of things for her to watch and do. And so Preston's been just watching a lot of these things, and they were all things from my kind of childhood mm -hmm. that I love. And I was like, no, you have to watch this. It's really awesome. It's so cool. You're going to love it. You should totally check this out, right? Um, and so it was totally validating, right? It was like, look, no, I know that Overwatch is awesome and that uh, Be More Chill is really Woo! cool, but you got to like check out these things that were awesome when I was a kid that I really loved, right? Yeah. Um, and so uh, uh, I've been introducing all these things to Presley, and then she's been sort of pushing stuff back to me. So that was that was one of the origins one of, of how the validate me thing started. Many. Okay, you want to talk a little bit about what happened at LA Comic Con? Sure. Let me move my microphone a little bit because it's far off. Haha. Hello. Uh, so at Los Angeles Comic Con, we were hanging out with um, Mike Falzone and Steve Zaragoza, or the Gooch as or no, the Gooch. Falzone and the Gooch. <laughs> we'll tell the Falzone and the Gooch story <laughs> later. But yeah, go yes, ahead. Yes, we were yeah. hanging out with them um, and we were just talking about the Ready Player One research and how I was starting to push a lot more content towards my dad instead of just him bringing stuff to me, which um, he thought was, Mike Falzone said, that's really cool, you should do a podcast about that. And 
we sort of were at first like, eh, that's cool, maybe we would. And then we actually, we were like, that's actually a really, really good idea. And so we decided to do that. We made, we came up with a title for it. Yeah, Presley had it named like five minutes after. Which is weird, because I never name things. Uh, 